My name is Insane Raven. I am back with another episode of Cortex of Crash Manicure 2. Cortex Strikes Back. In the last episode, we defeated, um, we defeated, we beat Unbearable, defeated Tiny Tiger, and uh, we 100 behaving. In this episode, we're gonna go through Ruination. Hopefully, at least one other level. The levels have dramatically had a difficulty spike and the good news is we have the green gem so oh ho, ho. the um the bonus path that this uh it was just advertising we have access to that uh, to what i was gonna say what what are you doing mate Okay. Um, and I'm probably already gonna hit the game over, which is okay, you know. Uh, Behaven was a beast of a map, uh, was a beast of a level, rather. And, uh, you know, we got through it, so we're good there. Um, the Road to Ruin was a level we've already comp accomplished, which I'm guessing this is like. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna die there then. I'm guessing this is like the the end of your sequel too. That thing happens every now and then. Now it's interesting because this guy, this mask rather, didn't make an appearance in the first game. Or did he? Did he make an appearance in the first game? I don't remember. But I'm gonna say he didn't make an appearance in the first game, and now he's just here, um, for this game, which is rather interesting. Because I know he does make an appearance in the game. I know he makes an appearance, and it's kind of a big deal when he does. Um, but I find it interesting that the decision back in the day was to have him be the game over screen. Even though the player, at this point, has like no contacts. Alright, uh, I didn't jump far enough. Um, even though the player has no context for who this character is. I thought it was just an interesting decision and I wanted to comment on it. Um, so right now I'm just failing at jumping. I've managed to fail the same jump four times. Um, not the same jump. I managed to like completely fuck up at the same area four times. And this is when I kind of realized that I'm not that great at video games. Um, even though I think I'm good and I think I'm getting decent at them. You are never truly as good as- oh fuck. I have to wait for it to come back now. Um, you're never as good as you think you are. Hype. Okay. That's really the lesson. Um. Yep. So, I think I've talked about this, but I've not really talked about who I've had it. Oh, fuck. Who, like, for me it was. Um. <clears throat> so, Cuphead came out this year and was hit as, like, one of the hardest games of the year. And um, people were comparing the Dark Souls because when anything's even a little bit hard, you gotta compare the Dark Souls to what you do. It happened with this game. I, I jumped though. It happened with this game a bunch. It, you know, it was just something that now happens. If the game's even a little bit difficult, that was bullshit. You compare the Dark Souls. Here's another game over. You compare it with the Dark Souls, and Cuphead was definitely one of the games that got that comparison. And I re I never realized how good of a game a MatPat was. Like MatPat got some serious gaming skills, and I did not realize it until I just watched him play Cuphead, and he beat like almost half the game on normal difficulty on his first go. And I'm like, oh, so it's not that hard that everyone's saying it is. I like they're just playing it up essentially. And then I watched the game Grumps play it. And I'm like, 
What? Wait, what? I didn't, I didn't move. What? Why? Okay, I don't know. I don't know, and I'll be, I don't know better to ask. I know better than to ask. Um. And like they were like the same. Nope. Yeah, but I gotta wait for that. And the same uh, bosses that Matt. Fucking a. I'm gonna have to jump though. Uh, it, the same, the same bosses that map had defeated really easily, they were just struggling with to the point where I think they rage quit at the game, um, which is actually kind of funny, kind of funny to me, at least in a while, um, I don't like the enemy placement in this game. It's cruel and unusual. I don't like it. Okay, so now we're here. Right back to where we started. Uh, mm. and sometimes this game just feels like it t sweeps the ground out from under you. And just kind of acts to be okay with that. And I am not okay with that. I mean, I... I did push the jump button, but okay. Okay. Now if I can just make this jump, that'd be great. I don't know why this jump, come on. There you go, go, go. Don't know why this jump is giving me such an issue, but. I was good though. I had it. I just got excited and kept going. So I don't know. I, I find those kind of things to be really interesting. And like, just to see like who like edits out all the mistakes in editing and who kind of shows you how it is. Like, <clears throat> I, re I recognize that I'm terrible at games. But that's why uh, guys like Rapid Luigi or Rapid Tuigi, um, if you're watching his playthrough uh, channel. I have a lot of respect for, you know, like he, he'll basically show you every mistake he makes, but then he'll edit out all the filler of, um, what happened, like to get us back to like kind of where he was. And I know that I said that I admire that, but mainly, so why don't I do that? I think that's, oh fuck. That's the next intelligent question you should be asking. Um, pretty simple why I don't do that. I don't have the editing time. Because I. That was a terrible decision I made. I should have known better than to make that decision, but you know. I don't. I just don't have the editing time. And, uh, second. That's not my style. And I feel like doing that is very reminiscent of his style. And then I'm paranoid of people thinking that I. I'm stealing something from them in some way or shape or whatever. That actually happened to me recently where someone's like, hey, did you steal, oh God, my uh, my series idea. With, uh, how the fuck do I make that jump? Um, you know, someone accused me of stealing the series idea when it came to the Platinum Road because they just so happened to, uh, be doing something kind of similar, um, with, uh, Friday the 13th, and they just happened to name it Road to the Platinum. And, you know, I was like, okay, you know, whatever. Uh, the names are kind of similar and all this other shit so is this my green gem reward I think this is my green gem reward um you know the names are kind of similar I can kind of see where he's coming from with that but like are you kidding me that's fine that's fine 
guy. Like, first off, I, I, I didn't want to be disrespectful to the guy, you know, because in his head, I had, I really had uh, stolen his, uh, his idea, essentially. So I didn't want to, like, be mean to the dude. But at the same time, I'm like, dude, what, what are Let's Play channels? I hate to kind of be the bit, the guy that I have to tell you this, but nothing we do is original. You know, you think we're the first person to do, ah, that's bullshit. You think we're the first person to do a, um, I probably shouldn't be doing this again. I realized now as I like come over, this was a terrible idea. Um, you think we're the first person to do, uh, fucking. Uh, let's play like this? No, like, we're not the first person. And, you know, it's not all game we're. Oh, fuck. It's not all game we're playing or anything like that. And, uh. Oh, like. Because I'm, like, I take so much time to kind of put my. So much of my own personality into the videos, whether that be I'm having a really meh day, so the commentary comes out meh, or I'm just like, eh, because I'm like, eh, that day. You know, but I try to put so much of that in my own uh, thing. That's why I don't call these playthroughs, I call them story times. That's why I don't call my vlogs vlogs, I call them letters from the field. You know, I try to, um, you know, put, put myself, uh, my personality into every little thing that I do. And just the fact that he was like, did you steal this from me, dude? Like, because I kind of wanted to stop, he did. I was like, the fuck? I don't know. I, it was rude, to say the least. And the thing that made it even funnier was that um, his series came out after mine. Which made it funnier to me. I don't know why that happened. That made very little sense. Okay. Got this. Shit. 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 I just, just had to get there. What the fuck? I don't know, but it was just something that I was like, are, are you kidding me, dude? You're, you're gonna really accuse me of stealing your idea? Let me tell you, man. More part of the people have been doing this exact same thing for a while. We're just, we're just following in the same good footsteps, dude. Hey, cause, like, nothing in new and original can happen at this point, right? That's why we have so many remasters and, and shit. Cause, like, nothing new can be created, really. Like, cause we've essentially done all the new shit, right? Like, that that's what that theory is, that, like, there's only, like, 13 actual songs in the world that you can, uh, have and listen to. Is this Bounty? Yeah, okay. And then this is this ideology that we've... Oh, that was, that was just bad timing on my part. That we've actually already done everything. So now we just have to remix and revamp everything. That's because of like the how, the how many different ways you can strum a guitar and how many different ways you can do all this shit. Damn it. No, I'm just gonna not do that. The flames were out. <clears throat> so apparently we're just we're just doing this level today. Apparently, apparently that's what's happening. Um, I love how the game even gave me like the little like, oh hey, by the way, this is gonna suck, thing right before uh we entered this world. Cause the last like in the last world we only had really unbearable that sucked monkey dick. That, that was just bad timing on my part. 
I thought I had figured it out and I didn't, so. As much as I would love to yell at the game for that, I can't. I cannot yell at the game for that, even though I would like to. I would love to yell at the game for that. For doing something wrong in that instance. That was all 100% me. Shit. And I do not like admitting that. But you know, sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta. How do I even get onto the topic of originality and things like that? Like, what kickstarted that conversation? But you gotta remember it. Because now it just kind of feels like I, I went full on attack mode on that dude. Seemingly out of left field, and I feel bad about that. Oh shit. Alright, I'm just not gonna do the, the green gen path. And hopefully that's not a problem. Just go here. Now this is interesting because we did we did this essentially. We used that uh, mechanic. Okay, so he's. Where does he go? Oh, okay, so he jumps to three. Looks like. Um. How do I do? Hold on. Can I do that now? Um, apparently not. Apparently it doesn't matter. So I have to figure out how to do go up there. That's what I have to do now. That's my next goal. Figure out how to get all these boxes. Because even though I, I highly doubt well, we're gonna be able to do a box. We're, we're gonna be able to do all the boxes because we didn't do the green gem path. Boom. Big booty, big booty, big booty. Uh-huh. Big booty. You guys ever play Big Booty? Is that ever a thing you guys did? Or is that just me and my weird ass my weird ass church? So Big Booty was a game. Yes, and you that you did hear me right, I did say church. Um so Big Booty was a game well it was just like a rhythm game basically. And the goal of the game was to not fuck up the rhythm. You know, like most rhythm games, the goal is to not to fuck up the rhythm. And I was not good at it. We'll say that for starters, I was not good at the game. Um, I jump, I jump, I jump. Oh shit. How do so how do I do that? Or is it very just precise timing basically? Um so where do we go is like big booty, big booty, big booty. Uh-huh. Big booty. Big booty number one, number one, number two, number two, number one, number one, number three. Or whatever. Like at that point it'd be just whoever you're trying to get out would get it thrown to, and depending on your number in the game would be how you would have to respond. Also, I'll take that copyright strike for my rendition of Big Booty. Thank you. Um, that's that's not funny. I shouldn't joke about that. Uh, <laughs> I I would get my demonetization for that. Can't joke about that. That's not funny either. But you know, this is less freaking out about that one. Also, my channel won't get shut down for uh, demonetization. At least not like just by demonetization. But copyright strikes, I, I will get a little bit fucked on that. Mm. Whoop. I love how just these boxes do not give a single shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Shouldn't have spun. 
Gen of Spawn. Yeah, I, I've already resigned myself to just doing doing this level, this episode. So, sorry. Sorry, I suck at games. Sorry, everything is a lie. But, um... Yeah, but it's like... Is that, is that a thing? Is that a thing in other, in other places? Did other places play Big Booty? Or is it just my... 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 Good people. I want to know. See, these are the things I'm curious about. What? How did that make any sense? Like, I was on the platform, and then the platform said no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can someone explain to me how that's possible? Like, the platform didn't move. No one moved. I was very much good. And I was like, <laughs> go fuck yourself. Like, what? What is this bullshit? So, um, so Spotify has released my year, my yearly, uh, no, your top song is 2017, which I always find is interesting, you know? There's always an interesting little gambit how those songs are going to go, because I listen to a lot of music. I, um, my music tastes, tastes. You know, they go from, you know, to the weird, to the uh, just odd type of music. And uh, I was kind of amazed because I didn't realize I listened to that much or given it that much love. Um, because I have no idea how Spotify does this shit. Like, I'll be honest, I have no fucking clue how they do this shit. Um, cause like, god damn it, dude. Like, god damn it, dude. I'll just jump off. I'll save it some time. Um. I don't know why her legs grew all of a sudden. Like, mid-jump, they were like, oh, let's have a growth spurt. Uh, but whatever. Um, and I didn't realize that I'd given uh, iDubbbz Asian Jake Paul so much love. Because it was near, apparently it was near the top of my list. Um, so I'm not sure if that means I just... I like that song, I like a good takedown piece. Okay, for a second I was petrified, it was gonna throw me off the cliff. Or what? But I was very much amused. I was very much amused by the fact that Asian Chick Paul made my, uh, my noteworthy music of 2017 according to Spotify. I found that amusing. Dude, I loved that. That was such a high flying jump. If I was a rush, that could be my final takedown move. Whoa. Look at that. Look at the power of that butt bump. Okay. Dope. Give me that life. I would very much like that life. Yeah. Oh, dude, look at that. Look at that cash money. So how many more do we need to do? Oh, she's cold. My computer's ruined. Like... Boop. Apparently that's a bigger jump than I thought. Wow. Oh. Come over here. Really? 
You show up at that one game? So that spot's not a safe spot, I gather. Okay, that's kind of fucky, but okay. I, I was on the spot game. Not the show by John, by uh, Ruse Teeth, John Reisinger. But I was on the spots. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck you, yes. Oh, fuck this. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, thank God for life. Thank God for that life. Alright, so where- Fuck. Dope. So now how do I- How do I make that? Right, then that now becomes a question of how do I make- That goes so far, dude. Ugh. I, I do not want to game over here. God damn it. All right, jump cut. Okay, so I think this is about where we were. Um. Yeah, this is where we were. So now we're good. We are good in the hood once more. Um, no, but fuck. Like, things like the whole originality, uh, the originality theory, and all that shit. It's something I think about a lot on YouTube. Not only because I have to, but because it's just something that, you know, like like I was telling the other guy, and like I, I know it all too well myself. There's there's really no reason for anyone to watch me. Um, the same content I'm putting out can be put out by people who have more time more money, and I'm just more dedicated to the craft than I am. And there really isn't any real point, oh fuck, uh, for me to make these videos. Like, at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I kind of have to make these videos for me, and I kind of have to put myself into them as best as I can, otherwise there won't be a point type thing. And so the whole originality thing, uh, it bothers me when someone tries to call me out on their shit on saying that like, I took their shit, cause I didn't. I'm just playing a game, dude. And I'm pretty sure I talked about the whole, uh, why I wanted to do the Platinum Road on Dead by Daylight, because it is such a different, uh, thing for my channel it's not something that I typically do the pink gems right though okay Just to be safe, I want this. That's fine, because I'm right there. That's fine. Okay. Now we're good again. Now we're good again. What about 
Okay, so this fuck is gonna be over here. There's that there. Okay. And boom, get the gem. And we are good. <clears throat> oh god. So my name is Mitten St. Raven. I will see you guys in my next episode. I should have talked during the ending of that, but I was I was so tense. I didn't want to. Um thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Oh wait, let's wait for Coco to dance. Go go must dance. Oh, there's another gem. There's another gem in the green path. Oh, I have to go through that. Fuck. Uh, shit. Crash, I haven't got much time. Cortex has almost completed the new space station. Something's not right with his statements. Beware the tricks he's talking. Cool. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.